Well, over the past month or so, America has increasingly found itself in the midst of a financial crisis. Just this week, Congress was faced with a proposed $700 billion bailout of some of the nation's top financial institutions. And this week's bottom line, Neil Malasson tells us how the downturn on Wall Street is affecting grain prices. And Neil, how are the markets faring in the face of all this turmoil? Well, Mike, normally when there's a financial crisis like this on Wall Street, it's a boon to the commodities as speculators and investors rush in to buy something solid. Now, we've seen a bit of this in the wake of this latest financial sectors, but things have been very turbulent with a lot of spikes and valleys. Generally, there has been a trend overall as oil prices have gone through the roof here lately. We'll get into that in just a second. And the weak dollar increases the value of U.S. goods abroad. Remember last week when I told you oil had fallen $40 since their highs over the summer? That took more than a month, but on September 22nd, they made up $16 of that in one day alone, the single biggest one-day jump in oil in history. Meanwhile, the dollar has fallen off again, if gold is any indication, jumping from $768 on September 11th to nearly $900 by September 23rd. Well, the rush to commodities as they become cheaper and more stable is on. How about some fundamentals to the grain markets for a change? The hurricane damage assessments are in and crop quality is down another 2% from the previous week. While mostly dry weather in the Midwest has spurred on harvesting, making an early freeze less likely to impact the grains. The bottom line this week is that the outside markets are all that investors are paying attention to, which is a bit of a good thing for the grains in the short term, as I said earlier, because that's what's keeping money in. Fundamentals are there, which is keeping prices at their peak. Now, the long-term picture is something of a question because as the economy goes into a downturn, if it does, that's going to increase prices for farmers. And over the last two years, even though we have seen higher prices for our grain commodities, it's been eaten away with with from the outside market. So keep one eye on those outside markets and one eye on the overall economy as a whole. That's the bottom line this week. I'm Neil Malasson. Back to you, Mike. Thanks, Neil. And of course, to stay up to date with the latest farm news in the aftermath of Hurricane Gustav, you can listen to Neil's reports on the Louisiana Farm Bureau Radio Network. For a list of stations in your area, you can visit our website at twilighttv.org and we'll link you over.